This Day in History. Oh, what a great day. I remember I was just a wee little lad on this day in history in 1998, but Bill Clinton was impeached for lying under oath to a federal grand jury and obstructing justice. Let's roll the clip. House Resolution 614 resolved that Mr. Hyde, Mr. Sensenbrenner, Mr. McCollum, Mr. Geekus, Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Booyer, Mr. Bryant, Mr. Shabbat, Mr. Barr, Mr. Hutchinson, Mr. Cannon, Mr. Rogan, and Mr. Graham are appointed managers to conduct the impeachment trial against William Jefferson Clinton. On this vote, the yeas are 228, the nays are 206, Article 1 is adopted. Sad. Sad for Bill. Now, why was he impeached? I did not have sexual relations with that woman. These allegations are false. But then, about five minutes later, he admitted this. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and a personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. I misled people, including even my wife. I deeply regret that. Well, that was quite a change. Now, how could Bill Clinton make both of those statements with a straight face? It's because he's also the guy who said this. You knew of your relationship with Ms. Lewinsky. The statement that there was no sex of any kind in any manner, shape or form with President Clinton was an utterly false statement. Is that correct? It depends upon what the meaning of the word is. Yes. <laughs> it depends on what the meaning of the word is. Is. Huh? Get it? Uh, what do you, <laughs> it's unbelievable to watch that. When he's referring to is when he told his aides, there's nothing going on with Monica Lewinsky. Now, he was following the classic mob advice of deny till you die, so Bubba explained himself. He said, if is means is and never has been, that is, not, that is one thing. If it means there is none, that was a completely true statement. Uh. Now, if someone had asked me on that day, are you having any kind of sexual relations with Ms. Lewinsky? That is, asked me a question in the present tense, I would have said no, and it would have been completely true. Uh. Completely, completely true, he says. Completely true. Slick Willie Clinton. So he got impeached. Clinton was the second president in American history to be impeached. Four charges were considered. There was perjury, obstruction of justice, a second perjury, and abuse of power. The first two passed. The House decided not to pursue the second two. So he lied about a year and a half long sexual affair with Monica Lewinsky, a 21-year-old intern who... Uh, when he was 49 and 50 years old. So Democrats tried to play it off as some little fling. Clinton's associates and his wife and campaign managers smeared the women as bimbos and trailer trash. But remember, this isn't some fling. We're talking about the President of the United States and his employee who was 28 years younger, certainly young enough to be his daughter. Consider for a moment the performed anger right now that we're seeing from Democrats at Roger Ailes, Bill O'Reilly, even Matt Lauer, Charlie Rose, on and on and on. What they did doesn't hold a candle to what Bill Clinton did. All of those guys doesn't hold a candle to what Bill Clinton did. Among the more lurid findings of the investigation against him are Bill Clinton's creative use of a cigar on the lowest level staff member in his employ. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, but not for Bill Clinton. 